Hey, it's 3D Beast again, and this time we're making part 4 of Life Machine Gun. So, so far we have this. I didn't do anything in between the videos like I usually do. So, it actually looks like a gun almost, with all the back and stuff. So, now what we're going to do, we're going to be working mostly on the front of this video, but there's this little cube thing right there, which I have to edit, and which I have to add, otherwise it'll look kind of empty over there. So, just extrude it a bit, scale it down sideways. Um, and uh, I gotta move this down. Yeah, I fed him! Okay, so, uh, so I'm just gonna move it like that. Move this over here, move this over here. Then I'm gonna move this down here. I'm just gonna move that down a little bit. Then I gotta extrude this again and just scale that down. It doesn't really have to look too good, just not terrible. Which that looks terrible. Never mind. And I'm just not gonna add that then. Maybe later. But uh, so now to the front. So you add mesh cylinder like we did before. Click T. Do eight. Yep. And we rotate that ninety degrees. And we're going to start at the back, because if we start at the front, that'd be really weird. So, I just scale it down so it looks good. Make sure that it's not too big. Not too, well, it doesn't matter if it's that, not too, eh, it's too small. Because, no. Uh, so, you get that. You extrude it, scale it down. Extrude it again. Extrude it one more time, scale it up. Then you do it again. Back here, scale it down. Extrude it. That uh, little thing right there. I'm just gonna add it anyway. You didn't have to add it, but you know. Uh, so you do it, extrude it again, scale it down, extrude it. You can go. Yeah, so then you just extrude it a bit, make it look like that. Yep, so then I'm going to do the same object, add mesh, cylinder. Probably would have been easier if we just copied that cylinder the first time, and then just paste it over and over. Oh, wait, no, you can't do that. Super cylinder is weird like that. Okay, so you scale it down, move it like that. Okay, mm -hmm. so. You do that, extrude it, scale it down, extrude it, extrude it, scale it up, extrude it, extrude it, scale it down. Extrude it again, scale it up. It doesn't have to match the picture perfectly. Even though that would be really awesome if you could do that somehow. But I can't, so. And this should probably hollow, so go to faces like I did earlier, delete faces. I should probably do that with this gun, too. Just because it looks sweet. Bleach faces, oh. extrude, scale it down, crap, and we have to do those one at a time. Extrude, scale it down, move it up, turn, extrude, scale it down, a little more, and then you move it up. And there you go, you have the bullet holes. You have the front. Um, now we had the scope. I saved too much. It's just like always oh, time. Yeah, so now you add mesh. Uh, cube. Three. Scale it down just sideways. It doesn't have to be that. It has to be pretty thin. It has to be thinner than the front thing. Which this is not. So scale it down. And that should be good. So now you go into edit mode. And go back to vertices if you're not in it yet. Then you go down to about... Okay. Uh, so then you just go down to about right here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but... 
so we go up there. I need to just move it because this is going to be part of the scope too. Then we'll add the filigran later to make it look thicker. So now I just move this down. Extrude it. Move it then. And then the scope's annoying to make. Because uh, since I don't have a side image, I'm just going to have to do this by like um, guessing, I guess. So you have to make it look sort of like a circle. Um, which I'm not good at. Like, my scope of my other gun was terrible. Not surprisingly, because, you know. Alright, so, crap, I messed up! Alright, uh, so, it doesn't have to be perfect, but if you can do better than me, tell me how, because I really need to know. I just, like, suck at doing this. So, and control R, right there, move this up. And you have a thing without a hole in it. And that's two pointy. So I'm going to do control R again. Boom. 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 And there we go. So that looks good. Um, I think I have enough time left to do this next part. But I'm not sure. So yeah. So do control R one more time. Do control R one more time on this side. And then go to faces. And this is going to be both sides, so just, uh, you gotta select everything twice. Crap. Yep, so then just delete face, and I'm gonna add one more down here. Delete those. Delete those faces. Then go to vertices and make it look like rounded at the bottom. Right, so move this up, move this up. Mm -hmm. And you should have something like this when you're done with it so it looks sort of like a circle for the hole. Which it probably would have been easier just to add a cylinder, but then it would be really weird once we smooth it, it would look bad. So there you go, you have a scope. Uh -huh. And I think I'm running out of time, so I'm just going to do this really quick. Um, I'm not going to really tell you what, how to do this that much, so yeah. You can just watch, I guess. And there you go. So, and that's the end of part four. So, bye.